from the world famous Amazon rainforest to old growth regions in Africa and Australia, here are 12 of the most ancient and amazing forests on Earth. Number 12, Biao Luisa Forest. This region covers nearly 550 square miles, or 1,420 square kilometers, and straddles the border between Poland and Belarus. At one time, most of northeastern Europe was covered with woodlands similar to these. Now it's one of the last remaining stretches of old growth forests on the continent, and contains thousands of plants and animal species. In particular, this is the only place where you can see the European bison. It's the heaviest land mammal in Europe, and the forest was declared a hunting preserve in the 16th century to protect it. The forest was also known for its huge ancient oak trees, like the Patriarch Oak. It's more than 550 years years old and is one of the park's most long-lived trees. Along with the natural wonders, the forest is also home of Dead Moroz. He's the Belarusian version of Santa Claus, who lives here all year long. Maybe you can present him with your gift list during the off-season. Number 11, Yakushima Forest. Each year, more than 300,000 people visit this subtropical forest on Japan's Yakushima Island. Many of them comment on the ethereal, fairy tale like quality of the region. In fact, the location has provided inspiration for many works of anime and video games, including the Metal Gear Solid series. The forest is home to many plants and animal species. The endangered loggerhead sea turtle makes its nesting ground here. But the forest is especially noted for its Yagasuki trees, also called Japanese cedars. Individual specimens have been confirmed to have lifespans exceeding 2,000 years. Some experts think the tree's history on the island could stretch back even further than that. Did you know that royals found the forest so beautiful that they created a replica in a mainland garden during the 17th century? Number 10, Tarkine Forest. Sprawling about 1,800 square kilometers, or 695 square miles, this is the largest single surviving region of temperate rainforest in all of Australia. Located in northwest Tasmania, it contains the Savage River National Park, and is noted for much more than its natural value and beauty. The Tarkine is regarded as an important archaeological region due to its high number of aboriginal sites. Usually, it can be difficult to locate extensive tracts of rainforest that are mostly undisturbed, yet the Tarkine has this quality in abundance, along with waterfalls, rivers, caves, and moorlands. More than 60 plant and animal species roam the area, the best known of which might be the Tasmanian Devil. Some of the area's plants include Huan Pines, which can live for more than 2,000 years and reach nearly 100 feet high, or 30 meters. Number nine. Tongass National Forest. Covering some 16.7 million acres, or 68,000 square kilometers in Alaska, it's no surprise that this is the largest national forest of the United States. It's also among the oldest forests, with certain areas dating back thousands of years. Some of North America's best preserved regions of old growth forests can be found here, and from a wider perspective, it's regarded as the world's largest surviving temperate rainforest. Cedars and spruces primarily grow here, and the region holds a wide array of plants and animal species. Some of the commonly seen creatures include grizzly bears, bald eagles, and wolves. Marine mammals, including orcas, humpback whales, and sea lions, can be observed swimming offshore. The forest receives about one million visitors every year, and many of them like to go hiking. Travel guides advise you to hire a guide if you plan on doing that, otherwise you might end up nose to snout with a wolf or a grizzly. Number eight, Pando Aspen Grove. You might call this remarkable organism an enormous one-tree forest. This is actually a colony of trees that originated from a single male quaking aspen, and experts think it has a single massive underground root system that's around 80,000 years old. That alone qualifies Pando as one of the world's oldest known living organisms, let alone forests. But some experts think the colony's true age might be closer to a million years old. Along with its extreme age, Pando is usually regarded as the heaviest extant organism on the planet. Its collective weight is estimated at some 6,600 tons, or 6 million kilograms. It's described as a clonal grove, where areas of the forest are comprised of tree trunks genetically identical to one another. Over the ages, Pando has essentially cloned itself across 106 acres, 
or 43 hectares in Utah's Fish Lake National Forest. Number seven, Kaga Mega Forest. Ages ago, a vast rainforest spanned the continent of Africa. Today, Kaga Mega Forest is said to represent the last remnants of that ancient expanse. Covering some 238 square kilometers, or 92 square miles, it's the only tropical rainforest in Kenya and contains upwards of 400 known plant species. Researchers have dated the forest at some two and a half million years old. And although it's only a fraction of its former size, the region still contains hundreds of bird species, some of which are found nowhere else in the world. Nearly 500 species of butterflies are among the abundance of insects that inhabit the forest. That includes spectacular creatures like the goliath beetle and the flower mantis. Otters, bats, and vervet monkeys are among the mammals that inhabit the area. While it's a boon for naturalists, the forest is also a source of vital materials like firewood and traditional medicines. Along with a dense population of humans, that puts a lot of pressure on the forest's resources and poses a legitimate threat to its survival. Number six. Reunion National Forest. The island of Reunion is located east of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean and is governed by France. The national park was established in 2007, so it's relatively young, but the rainforest itself was created by volcanic activity about two and a half million years ago. Two volcanoes are located here, and one of them is still active. The core area comprises around 407 square miles, or 1,054 square kilometers, and covers more than 40% of the island's surface. Thanks to its isolation and diversity of habitats, Reunion is home to some 850 known native plant species, more than one quarter of which are endemic. It's also home to endemic animal species, including birds, butterflies, and geckos. The flora and fauna, along with the picturesque volcanic landscape, have made the park a popular destination for tourists. More than 400,000 visitors arrive annually to experience the rainforest and volcano discovery trails. Number five, Amazon Rainforest. No doubt this is the best known name on our list. The broadleaf tropical rainforest comprises more than two million square miles, or five and a half million square kilometers, of South America's Amazon basin. The sprawling expanse covers the territories of nine countries, with most of it located in Brazil. Did you know that more than half of the world's surviving rainforests are located in the Amazon? Upwards of 400 million individual trees, representing 16,000 different species, can be found here along with a display of biodiversity that is unmatched anywhere else in the world. It's safe to say that the world's largest collection of living plant and animal species is located within the Amazon rainforest. Estimated at about 55 million years old, it has also provided a long time home for humans. Archaeologists say the first settlements took place in the region more than 11,000 years ago. Even today, there are still tribes living as they did thousands of years ago. If you ever wondered about its name, Amazon refers to the women warriors of Greek mythology. When conquistadors first fought local tribes, they found that the women fought as fiercely as the men, and that inspired the name. That's according to our sources anyway. What do you think? Number four, Taman Negara. One of the world's oldest forests is located in peninsular Malaysia. It's actually a national park that comprises three states, with a total area exceeding 4,300 square kilometers, or 1,676 square miles. A great variety of wildlife roams the area, much of which is endangered. The Malayan peacock pheasant and other rare birds offer great opportunities for bird watching. Rare mammals there include the Malayan tiger and the Malayan gawar. Cave systems, jungle trekking, and a canopy walkway are among the attractions that visitors come to enjoy. While the park was established in the late 1930s, the rainforest is estimated to be more than 130 million years old. Some sources claim that Taman Negara is the world's most ancient tropical rainforest. But some other locations on our list can make a similar claim. Number three, Borneo Lowland Rainforest. Covering more than 165,000 square miles, or 428,000 square kilometers, this tropical and subtropical forest supports more than 10,000 plant species and nearly 400 bird species like woodpeckers and hornbills. 
They're joined by an array of amphibians, crocodiles, and lizards. Many species of mammals, ranging from the wee pygmy squirrel to the massive Asian elephant, also reside in the region. Endangered species including the Sunda clouded leopard, the Sumatran rhino, and sun bears also live here. The rainforest has existed for an estimated 140 million years, so all the plants and animals have resided there for a long time. But the area is being diminished by the conversion of natural forests into plantations that produce rubber and industrial timber. Hunting, mining, and logging activities also pose a threat to these ancient lands. By some estimates, the forest cover on Borneo could be reduced by more than 50% if deforestation continues at its current pace. Number two, Dane Tree Rainforest. Located in a region on the northeast Queensland coast, this is the largest tropical rainforest in continental Australia. Dating back an estimated 180 million years, it's usually regarded as the world's oldest rainforest as well. Experts say the Australian continent was a warm and humid place millions of years ago, and rainfall was abundant. But as conditions became more arid over the ages, there were fewer and fewer places where rainforests could survive. But thanks to an ideal balance of climate and topography, Dane Tree became the last refuge for this expanse of plant life. Thanks to that, there are several plant species here whose ancestry stretches back more than 100 million years. One of the world's most complex ecosystems is contained within the region, and its plant diversity is the greatest in all of Oz. In addition to plant life, Dane Tree is also home to many animals. More than 400 bird species are found here, including populations of the southern cassowary. That, along with the presence of tree kangaroos and its proximity to the Great Barrier Reef, have made it a must-see for tourists. Number one, the world's oldest forest. While Dane Tree is indeed an ancient forest, it's a relative toddler compared to this one. Evidence of the world's oldest forest was found in 2019 in Cairo. No, not Cairo, Egypt. It was found in Cairo, New York in the United States. Researchers discovered fossilized roots that once belonged to trees that were similar to modern day species. Dated at 385 million years, the discovery indicates that a great forest once existed long before the first dinosaurs ever even appeared. Large root-like structures were found in the bottom of a quarry about 40 miles from Albany, New York's capital. It's thought that a catastrophic flood probably killed the forest trees and preserved the complex root systems as fossils. That scenario is supported by fish fossils located near the largest trees. Scientists say the discovery provides a picture of Earth's transition from a planet with no forests to a planet that is covered with them. Understanding that history may provide more insight to processes that are occurring today. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.